Meeting in Montecito where six people are still missing from catastrophic mudslides four days later. Specialized teams are searching some of the same areas a second time, hoping for a miracle. Now here's the latest on the devastating mudslides. The death toll has risen to 18, but it is expected to rise. Mandatory evacuations are still in place and could be for two more weeks. Crews are cleaning up the 101 freeway. They hope to have it open by Monday, but now it appears it will take longer to clean up. We have team coverage with more on the incredible stories of survival and the cleanup. And we begin with Randy Page in the expanded evacuation zone where active searchers are still going on and a firsthand story that you'll only see on CBS2. Randy. That's right, Pat. These are rescue workers who are not willing to give up, not by a long shot. Looking down Coast Village Road here in Montecito, a lot of heavy machinery. Meantime, up in the hillsides, a lot of war work is going on. It is an all-out search for survivors from the air and on the ground as firefighters go door to door and cover inch by muddy inch, hoping to find some sign of life in this lifeless landscape. Search dog handlers we spoke to said they haven't had any luck today, but they said they have plenty of more ground to cover. It will soon be that pivotal moment when the search for survivors turns into a recovery effort, but these firefighters aren't ready to give up yet. There was a, a person with a flashlight over there calling for help. Santa Barbara so, County Fire Captain Paramedic Brian Fernandez was on this spot a few minutes after the wall of mud and debris came through here early Tuesday morning. One of the other captains said, I hear something. So we all stopped and we heard crying. Captain Fernandez says they realized the crying was coming from the ground directly beneath them. So they started digging. When we got down a couple of feet, I'd put my hand on the on the baby's leg because I wasn't thinking like this is really what we're hearing and seeing, you know. And um, so we kept removing the stuff and eventually the baby was free and was laying on its right hand side, completely naked, um, screaming and crying. There in his arms was a muddy two year old naked baby and he was alive. And how it didn't get impaled or suffocate in the mud, um, it's just an absolute miracle. Do you have kids of your own? I do. Yeah. I have a, a seven-year-old and an eight-year-old. Captain Fernandez says after the baby was rushed to a waiting ambulance, he was able to carry other young kids to safety on his back, including an eight-year-old boy the same age as his son. And I couldn't see him, but I was talking to him about what he got for Christmas. He got Legos for Christmas, and um, he plays football. And... Um, and I was just happy to talk to him and have him on my back and, and be helping him get to a place that I know it was scary outside. But I kind of thought of, you know, if that was my boy, this is what I'd want somebody doing for him. And Captain Fernandez says when he looked down and saw the crying, muddy baby in his arms, he thought of his own children waiting for him back home. I hugged my kids so tight when I went home and got to see them. And um, I told them that they're what makes me strong to be able to do this is to think about them and to help others. And Captain Fernandez said he really just did what anyone would have done. You know, Pat, Rick, that's what we're here from so many first responders, so much humility and so much courage. And we are so grateful. Thank you so much, Randy.